Hey guys, welcome back to Dixie Bell's YouTube channel. It's Lauren here from Furniture Flipping Teacher, and we're back for another FFT Friday. Today, I've got a cool flip for you guys. We are going to be transforming this wooden dresser into a lighter and brighter feeling dresser. And so, if you watched the video from our FFT Friday last week here on Dixie Bell's channel, you saw me make over these side tables and this dresser is actually from that same set. So we are gonna be going for the same look on this dresser with the cream and the antique wax, the brown wax. But I think that this one is going to just be a little bit different than that because again, there's not so many of those details. So it'll be a little bit more challenging to kind of know where to put that wax since there aren't very many spaces for it. But we're on for the challenge. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started and remove the hardware. Just to get everybody up to speed, this set came from Illinois. And so the customers drove about five hours and dropped off all the furniture. And while they were here, we had talked about hardware situations. And we decided that since these are the black hardware, that it's not really gonna match the antiquing brown wax that I'm gonna be putting on here. So I'm gonna be replacing the hardware. So that means that I'm gonna take this off and set it aside for another project. Now that the hardware is off, let's clean. All right, I've got my Dixie Bell White Lightning all mixed up in this spray bottle. So I'm just gonna spray it down. We wanna make sure to get this nice and clean so the paint adheres really well. Now that we've got it all cleaned, I'm going to use my other side of my bucket with nice clean water and I'm gonna rinse all of the white lightning off. Then also go ahead and dry down with a microfiber cloth. Our next order of business is to do a scuff sand over the entire piece. So I'm gonna use my surf prep and a 220 grit. This is just gonna really roughen up the surface cause it's very smooth right now. So there's nothing really for the paint to grab hold of. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, everything's sanded down. So I'm gonna wipe back with a microfiber cloth. Okay, prep is done and I decided that I am going to be spraying this dresser and I'm gonna spray leaving the drawers in and I'm gonna show you how that's gonna work. So let's head over to the spray booth. All right, so like I said, I'm gonna spray. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my paint in my sprayer and when you do that, especially with a thicker paint like Dixie Bell, you wanna make sure you strain it. That's gonna help thin it out a bit, but it's also going to help get any chunks out that may be floating around in the paint. And that would clog your sprayer, so definitely be cautious of that. I've got a new buttercream container here at 32 ounce. I'm gonna pour in about half, and that should be plenty for the first coat. And then also since Dixie Bell's paint is very thick, we are going to water it down about 10%. So I've got a little bit of water here that I'll go ahead and pour into our strainer as well. Just letting it go through the strainer. The sprayer I'm using is the TC Pro Airless Handheld Sprayer, and it doesn't need to be plugged in. It's actually powered by a DeWalt battery. So I like this sprayer because I can basically take it anywhere, and I don't have to worry about a long cord getting tangled or not being long enough. All right, this is pretty much strained out. Then we're going to make sure to mix it up Make sure we've got all one consistency. Mix all that water in with the paint. Spray time. 
spray on a piece of cardboard or something like that to test your spray pattern because you want to make sure that you're not getting too much paint or too little paint and what better way to test it on a practice area rather than actually on the piece when chances are you might mess it up or get too much paint or just you could never mess a piece up but it would cause more work in the end so i'm going to go ahead and practice here and then we'll get to spraying on the dresser Okay, coat number one is finished on this dresser, so we gotta let that dry for a little while before we come back for coat number two. All right, we're back for coat number two. Same thing. All right, all three coats of the buttercream are dry. So now, like I said, since I ended up putting or leaving the drawers in, I need to do a little bit more work with the paint because these drawers actually do hang over the edges a little bit. And so I'm gonna have to pull these out and then do any touch-ups that the paint missed when the drawers were closed. So I've got my can of buttercream here and then I've got some detail brushes. So I'm just basically going to pull out each drawer. And then as you can kind of see here, I'll pull this one out a little more. As you can kind of see along the sides and the top, there's just a bit that didn't get covered because it was covered by the drawer. And so it's gonna take me just a little bit of time to go around and do those details, but it saved me a bit of time not wrapping each individual drawer um, to protect the sides and stuff from paint, but yet I still got a look that has no paint on the sides, which is something that I really strive for because that kind of looks like a more messy job to me and like you don't really care as much. So definitely be sure to always try and think about those details and then like this, go back and touch up. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. All right, I'm finished with the detail touch-ups, so I'm gonna let that dry just a little while, and then we're gonna move on to the waxing. It's time for wax. So I'm going to first use my clear wax, and then we're going to do the brown wax over the top of that. For the clear wax, it's just gonna basically be like a base layer of wax to protect the entire thing. Because the brown wax, I'm not gonna be putting that everywhere. So I still wanna make sure that this wax is sealing in all of the paint. And then also, this will allow the brown wax to be a little bit more maneuverable. So I am going to be using my Best Dang brush to apply my Best Dang wax. And it does look white in the container, but it dries clear. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start. Um, I'm gonna start here on the side and then kind of just work my way over. When you do wax, you just get a little bit on your brush and a little bit kind of goes a long way. So this much is probably gonna cover my entire top drawer here. And then basically you wanna rub it into the surface to really get it down into the pores of the paint. So you just kinda, I like to hold it down low here so that I have more control over the brush. If you're up here, it's gonna be pretty wiggly. So get a good grip down here and then really just work it in work it in all across the surface of where you're applying the wax. Sometimes you may get a few um, 
brush hairs, but that's just natural and it happens, especially with the natural bristle brushes. So just make sure to be aware of that and get that out of there. And then you just take your, your lint-free cloth and you kind of buff it in there. And this also wipes back any of that excess. And then you move on to the next drawer. All right, now that we've got that clear wax on, I'm gonna go grab my brown wax and we are going to create some more depth and detail with just the brown wax and it's really gonna help accentuate some of the details. This dresser doesn't have too many details, but there are a few on the front that I really wanna accentuate and just bring it together to match up with those side tables. I am going to be replacing the hardware, so these brown knobs are going to go on there. I got these from Hobby Lobby, and so we're just going to be putting all this hardware on, and then on the top row, I'm going to do a very similar style, but smaller. All right. We are finished. Let's head over to the staging wall and check it out. Here we are. I just love how it all comes together when you get it here in front of the staging wall. I actually started with this type of look when I very first started an entire, almost year ago now that we started our channel. And this was one of the first looks that I did on it, but since then I haven't done it. And so it's been really fun to get back to it and really see the brown wax accentuating the details of the furniture. I love the way that the new hardware looks on here as well. I think that it looks a lot better than that black might have looked. I think that this dresser matches these side tables tremendously. I just had to bring them over here so that I could see them next to it and so that you guys could also see the vision that is truly coming to life. We've got one more piece in this set and that is going to be over on my channel in a couple of weeks. It is a king sleigh bed frame. So I am going to be doing this same look on a bed frame. So I'm excited about that. It's going to be our my first time doing a headboard and footboard. So I am thrilled to be doing this same design. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a little bit more about waxing and shading and just how it can bring out the depth and the details in any piece of furniture. So be sure to get subscribed down below and also over on my channel, Furniture Flipping Teacher. And we'll see you guys next time for another FFT Friday. See you on the flip side.